some of the basic things to look for on, on your steering on, on an old Jeep, especially on an old CJ, is the first thing that's usually going to wear out is the bell crank, which is the pivot point underneath the radiator. The bell crank's the L-shaped piece like a boomerang, and it's on a pin with bearings in. That's usually the first part to go bad on them. The second part to look for is the sector shaft in the steering box where the shaft comes out the side of the box. If you have somebody turn to play in the wheel and uh, and you watch that shaft, if that shaft moves up and down before it turns, you need to put a sector shaft kit in it. Even if it moves up and down just a real little bit, the uh, littlest bit of movement down on the steering shaft moving up and down gives you two or three or four inches of play up in the steering wheel. And then the, the next most common thing are out in the front are the tie rod ends. On most old CJs, there are four of them. There's two in the middle, one out at each wheel. You just have somebody turn to play in the wheel and go out front and look. And you'll see at the tie rod ends if, if they're moving back and forth before the wheel turns. And the same with that bell crank there. Have somebody turn to play in the wheel and watch that bell crank if it if it uh, cocks itself and stuff before it actually starts turning the wheels the, the, the bearings in the shaft inside are shot and you need to put a kit in it uh, and if you just go through those basic things and uh, you can get most of all the play out and the only other thing left is the drag link that's the rod that runs in the steering box up front to the bell crank and uh, those have adjustable ends in there if there's a little play in them you can usually take the cotter pin out and tighten that little uh, screw thing up there a little bit and get the play out of it you know you should really just take it off and look at the balls uh, there's a ball on the bell crank and a ball on the pitman arm to make sure they're still round if they're not round then you should change them too but you know if they're still in good shape you can just usually turn them in a little bit and put the cotter pin back in and usually you can get the play out of them and that's usually the basic things right there no, most of all my old Jeeps, uh, the 6 volt batteries I'm using are interstate battery makes a, a nice 6 volt battery and I have pretty good luck with them as far as lasting for a long time. Uh, it's called a workaholic and uh, the number on it is 1-VHD. It fits the 6 volt battery hold down nice and, and stuff and uh, it's a 575 uh, cold cranking amps battery. And Interstate, you see there are signs all over the place where they sell batteries. They might not have one on the shelf, you might have to go in and order it, but they're readily available and easy to get in a couple days. And I know like Napa sells batteries and almost any other place sells batteries, DECA and, and everybody else. You know, they also you can get batteries through any of them people too. But uh, I've been sticking with the Interstate because they've been lasting a long time and I don't have to change them every two years. They, they usually seem to be getting like four or five years out of them before they're no good anymore. When uh, putting your battery in and stuff, make sure you use the battery hold down. We have them available there uh, for those six volt batteries and uh, battery J bolts line up with the battery hold down, just like there is a copy of the original battery hold down that we had reproduced. And uh, as long as that's on with the J bolts and, and a lot of the two A's and three A's had a strap over to the fender to prevent the battery from sliding sideways. As long as that stuff's on, you shouldn't have no trouble with uh, uh, battery coming loose or falling over or giving you any other kind of trouble. You just got to watch when you put the battery cables on that you don't have your battery cables over against the metal bracket of the battery hold down that you'll get a short. One of the, the things with tires that people ask about tires is uh, they like to look at the old tires, but they want to be able to drive them on the road and stuff. If you're restoring an old Jeep and keep an original motor running gear in it, whether it's a CJ2A, an old Willys wagon or truck. You, you don't, you can run these old biased tires like this one here. This is like an old uh, mud and snow traction tire, which was used on many of the old Jeeps over the years. And the Jeeps don't have enough power and don't go fast enough because you're not going to be running them down the road at 80 miles an hour down the four lane. That these tires work fine, you know, and They'll last forever because they're a six ply tire, and especially on a small Jeep with a, a little bit that they weigh, they'll never wear them out. It'll take a long time. But these will work fine. You don't have to put 
uh, steel belted radial tires on your stuff, you know. Now if you put a conversion in and it's got a V8 and an automatic and you can fly it on the road, well then I really don't recommend using these older tires because they're, they're really not as far as handling and everything as good as the newer tires. But uh, if you have the original running gear in it, you're not going that fast anyway, these just work fine. These are the military tires. You know, everybody's worried about them spinning out and everything, but for the most part on an old Jeep with a 60, 70 horsepower motor in, you're not going to really spin them out anyway unless you try and do it on purpose on the wet road. Uh, so, you know, they work fine for an older Jeep too, and you don't really have to worry about spinning out all the time with them, you know. We carry these mud and snow traction tires here in uh, 15 and 16 inch, and we also carry the military tires uh, which everybody knows what they look like and also in 15 and 16 inch on both of them too. All right. So it's mostly maybe what you would prefer to have on your Jeep or what you're doing with it would depend on what you want to put on it. My, my favorite movies out of Willie's Jeeps and are the ones that are World War II movies and they show Korean War Jeeps and they just make me laugh. <laughs>